Hey everyone, welcome back. As requested, I'm going to do a quick demonstration um, of um, how to make English muffins. Um, we've got 500 grams of flour. This is again strong flour, but again, as I said last time, plain flour will do the job. Probably not as well, but it'll still definitely do the job. I've got 10 grams of yeast in the uh, 10 grams. 12 grams think about it of salt in there so that's just normal table salt uh, I've got a little packet which is equivalent to seven grams of yeast I've got caster sugar I've got 25 grams of caster sugar and some unsalted butter and I'm trying to think how much I've got that um, 25 grams of unsalted butter again so it's 15 grams of caster sugar 25 grams of unsalted butter. I've got milk. Um, in this case, I'm using UHT milk. Uh, I've made it with half fast, uh, full fat milk, whole milk, um, semi skimmed milk, and that seems to work fine. Uh, just today, we've got some um, uh, UHT milk left over, so I'm going to use that. And um, I've got 300 grams, which is equivalent to 300 cc's of. of um, UHT milk this time okay it's fairly simple what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pause it so you don't have to <laughs> stare at me for ages I'm going to put the milk and the butter into a pan just let it warm up so that it all melts together I'm then going to add everything the yeast the sugar the um, the butter and milk mix into here and mix it okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna switch off again what I'm going to do is put the butter and milk together, warm it up. I'm going to make sure it's only only about hand warm before put it in there, otherwise it's going to kill the yeast off. So uh, I'm just going to warm it up, make sure it's all melted together, make sure it's not too hot, and put it in there. And I'm going to put the video back on again just to uh, uh, just to talk through the next stages. Okay, welcome back to part two. The um, the milk and the butter is nicely melted together. Um, something to remember as well that I'm using a metal pan, and so really I should be using a plastic or one spatula. I shouldn't be using a metal spoon on a metal pan. So as everything now is just simply mixed together. So pour this in with the flour and the salt. Add the sugar, start mixing it and add the yeast. Now, <clears throat> that really is just a simple case of mixing for about 10 minutes. So it's all going to um, pull together as quite a good strong pattern dough or dough. Um, I will then simply cover it with a tea towel. It's a nice warm day today, which is good. So once I've mixed it for 10 minutes and it's made into a nice strong pat or dough, I'm just going to cover it with this and I'm going to leave it for an hour until I notice that the, um, the pat, which we saw last time, um, nicely grows, grows in shape to, uh, so I can see it starting to grow, grow and develop. So simply mix for about 10 minutes leave for an hour until you start to see it grow uh, significantly and then uh, I'll show you the next steps okay so I've been mixing it mixing it to start off with until it was fairly congealed uh, and then started to knead it yes <laughs> I do get bits on my hands uh, and also it's amazingly difficult when you've got mess all over your hands to um, use your thumbprint on your mobile phone and switch it back on again Anyway, it's just a case of when it first started and it's very, very wet and damp and not, not pulling together like this, just knead it very gently, otherwise it's gonna make a, a right mess. And again, as I told before, you can cheat and put some oil on your hands. Um, just knead it very, very gently, but don't push down too hard uh, and put it around your fingers. Once it starts to become more of um, a stronger pattern like this, you can then start to use more effort in the kneading process, okay? So this is pretty much it. It's a nice, nice pack to come together for the English muffins. 
what I'm going to do now is just drop it back in here. I'm going to leave it now for about an hour. Uh, it's a fairly warm in this room, as I said before. I'll leave it for about an hour. Um, and then it will grow, it's going to grow a bit. I'm going to clean the mess I've made here, otherwise Natasha will kill me. Um, <clears throat> and then I'll show you what it's like uh, after it's grown. Hey and welcome back. Well, as you can see, this has risen really well. Okay, so that as a pat has become so about twice the size. Now, because we're creating English muffins, uh, I tend to use a couple of stages. So in the stage after this. Uh, basically texture on the outside but <clears throat> I'm taking the pat move this out of the way taking the pat I'm putting this into eight pieces and then I'm basically because obviously you get a nice round shape with it I'm shaping it into a into a uh, nice round ball I'm trying not to squash it too much so me patterning it just then wasn't a good idea but uh, I'm trying to get a nice round shape uh, as much as possible uh, this is more of a heart shape but hey that's the way it goes okay I've got a nice and then this is just a butter tray I'm just gonna leave it in the butter tray I'm going to do it for all eight for uh, <clears throat> I'm going to do it for all eight for uh, and leave it in the butter tray to raise a bit more um, for about 30 minutes about half an hour but you can judge that this is a nice it's a nice dough can definitely expand a bit more I I need to shape that one a bit more okay okay and i'm gonna leave these english muffins to rise for about another yeah, 30 minutes or so and then we'll come back and ready for the next bit hiya welcome back well as you can see these english muffins have risen quite well so the next steps is um, frying pan. Make sure some melted butter in there, or preheat the oven. I forgot. Pre make sure you preheat the oven to two hundred, um, and then take them from uh, the trays and the pans. Put them in the oven. You need to fry the top and bottom. Let's see if there's anything. So it basically looks like like so. I can get a golden color all the way through. So this needs cooking a bit more. Okay, or just like that. Okay. So you do that top and bottom, put them back in the um, in the tray, and then put them in the oven. Okay. Now this is for me. This is the most difficult bit because you have to make sure when you put them in the oven to fry, uh, you don't burn the butter. Uh, so it's, again, you have to keep an eye on that. Uh, when you put it in the oven, so you fry top and bottom with butter. When you put it in the oven, uh, it only takes about fifteen minutes. So again, a preheated oven. Uh, at 200 just keep an eye on it when it's in there so uh, for me I find this the most difficult bit simply because I'm having to slowly cook them or fry them sorry uh, and I'm making sure I'm not burning them or I burn the butter in the process um, but after that before that and after that it's fairly straightforward so when I finished doing it for that and for this tray so that I made eight from that 500 grams of flour um, I'll put it, I'll take a photo as well and put it on the, our, our Facebook group. So see you soon. Hey everyone, right, the final bit. Uh, it's been in the oven now for 15 minutes. So I'm just going to turn the oven off. I'll try and do this one handed. It's wearing gloves isn't the easiest thing. And we're going to see how this works out. I'm going to spin it round. Uh, top one's slightly overcooked, but there we go. So, I 
obviously these need to go on the uh, cooling rack to to cool off a bit but here we have it homemade English muffins and thank you thank you for watching bye